Welcome back to Tech Take. I'm Adam Housley in Los Angeles. Now, there's all kinds of ways now you can compute on the go. It just seems like they're getting smaller and smaller. And here to show us some great new gadgets that you can use, whether you're on vacation or whether you're working, is Mark Spoonauer. He's uh, the editor in chief, Tom's Guide, and Laptop Magazine as well. Uh, you can find him on Twitter at mspoonauer and also at laptopmag.com. Mark, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you. You know, there's a number of things on this set that I think are pretty impressive and had a chance to try them out. Uh, first of all, we'll start with the Zolt uh, charger. Yep. Um, we saw this uh, about a year and a half ago now mm -hmm. uh, at CES. and At the time, it was just a concept, and they were in one of the smaller halls. I believe they're over at the Sands. Now they're out with the actual unit. I've had a chance to mess with it a little bit in the last week. Um, not only is it a cool color, but what's great about this, you see the USB area right there, is this thing is, is pretty cool because you not only can charge your phone, but you can charge your laptop, and it's small. Yeah, that's right. So what we love about this is that, you know, a lot of people are fighting over outlets at airports or, or even at home, like next to the nightstand. You want to be able to plug in multiple things at once without taking up a lot of room. We reviewed the Zolt on Laptop Mag and we gave it four out of five stars because of the compact design, but also the versatility, the fact that you can charge three gadgets at once. And the box comes with tips for all of the most popular laptops, including HP and Dell, uh, Toshiba and Lenovo. You know, the only strike against it is that you have to pay a little bit extra for an Apple charger at 20 bucks, but overall, it's a great value. Yeah, at 99 bucks, uh, that's without the Apple charger. I was going right. to say it does have the Mac chargers, but they do cost a little bit extra. Yep. Um, but I liked it overall as well. Yep. All right, next, uh, Kangaroo Windows 10 mobile PC. I just got this in the mail to check out. I haven't even had a chance to turn it on <laughs> yet. Um, but it, it, it's pretty darn cool. I read, all of, I read up all on it, obviously, what you guys said about it. Yeah, so on Tom's Guide, we, we also gave this four out of five stars because we're, we're saying not only is it a great mini PC, it's one of the best values in tech, period, because the fact that you can run Windows 10 on something so small and light, it's like the size of a couple of decks of deck of cards and you're running Windows 10 out to a monitor so you can you know get full computing power out of this there's an atom processor inside uh, 32 gigs of storage and you can expand that with a micro SD slot over here um, so an atom you know PC is not going to give you like the full power of like a gaming <laughs> laptop or something like that right but you can use it as a, as a home theater PC which is great for the living room if you want to watch Netflix or stream YouTube surf the web on the big screen wow. Uh, and because this has four hours of battery life built in, uh, you can use it on the go, and there's an app for your iPad. So let's say you have the iPad Pro. You could run full Windows 10 right on your iPad. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Um, the plug-in a Wi-Fi range extender. Um, yep. From it's 119 bucks. All this stuff is pretty affordable. Yeah. I actually had a chance to, to use this. I just started trying this out uh, recently because I, I, I have my I have an extender. I unplug mine, put that one in. Plugs in pretty easy. Uh, I'm not someone who's as capable when you have to take and, and adjust uh, a few things um, when it comes to accessibility for other computers, yeah. especially Apple products. But this thing's pretty cool too, and it's pretty easy and it's pretty small. Yeah, I think the compact design is nice because when you want to extend your network in your house, you don't want to run wires everywhere. I mean, this, so this is wireless. Right. And there's a cool little tool built in. It gives you a little LED so that as you're walking around the house, it tries to tell you, like, here's the optimal place where you could put it so you could extend that coverage throughout the rest of your abodes. And they promise up to 10,000 feet, a square feet of coverage. Uh, and it works with AC network, so it's the latest Wi-Fi standard. So it's really simple, compact, but it, it basically kills those dead zones in your house, which is great for me because once in a while when I work from home, <laughs> I have an upstairs office, and I want to get the same speed right. as if it's, I was in front of the router or the cable modem downstairs. That's the same issue I have. It's a two-story home, and uh, <laughs> I, like I said, I unplugged mine, put that one in, and was impressed by it so far. Yep. Um, all right, two more quick run by The APC yep. backup. Yep. Tell us about that. What did you guys think of that? Sure. Uh, well, what we like about this guy is that it's sort of like two products in one. So what you have here is a device that, let's say you have a power outage. We had that huge blizzard of 2016. Let's hope we don't have any more. Uh, so you could plug your cable modem and your router directly into this, and you get two and a half hours of network backup time. And the reason why it's so versatile is that it has this little power pack built in. So you could take this out when the power outage strikes or you have a surge, and you can get up to five charges on your smartphone smartphone through this thing and you can take it with you so even if you don't have an outage you can just throw this in your bag and make sure that you have enough power for your mobile devices so you could charge your phone or your tablet any negatives on it at all uh, well I mean the price is you know 139 so it's definitely not on the cheap side but if you want something that can charge but not crazy no 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 so, but if you want something that could sort of power your network as well as your mobile devices I think the versatility is actually worth it yeah in fact the only thing that's kind of expensive on this whole table 
is the Razer Blade Stealth. Now, right. uh, of course, at $999, it's also a full computer. Right. Um, so, and as you know, laptops, you, you, want a, you want a nice laptop. You're, you know, most people are willing to spend about a grand or more, depending on if you're going Apple or PC, yeah, that's um, right. to get the better laptop. Tell us about this thing. Yeah, so they're actually going right after the Apple MacBook uh, Air with this guy. So the Stealth starts at 999 So given the fact that this is a two and a, two and a half pound ultra portable, 0.5 inches thin, uh, and I love that the keyboard lights up, and I mean, gamers will love that. Uh, it's like millions, gl glows millions of different colors. And you're going to get a Core i7 processor inside this guy, which means you're going to get lots of power on the go, about eight hours of battery life. And you're going to have your choice of a Quad HD display or up to 4K, which is really sharp. But when it gets really interesting is when you get back to your desk, because you can plug this in. They're going to be selling a separate graphics core. And what you, when you do, when you plug in, you're going to get the, the ability to run full PC games as if you were running a gaming desktop. So when you put the two together, then it's a pretty potent combo. All right, Mark Spoonauer, good stuff, man. I can tell you, that we're, this is a, obviously a computers on the go segment. <laughs> and uh, as you can tell, and you know this more than I do, it seems like things are getting better and better. Everything from the portable charger that can do laptops as well as phones to the computer to the Wi-Fi extender. Um, some really good products out there right now. We appreciate you joining us from New York. Oh, thank you. All right. I'm Adam Housley in Los Angeles, and you're watching Tech Take.